Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will be taking a look at a browser extension named Webalyzer, which stands for Web Application Analyzer. Now this tool can be used to gather information about what type of services or what type of features are running in a particular website like the WordPress version, etc, etc. Now if you don't know about information gathering, then you can go ahead and watch my information gathering video. I'll put the link in the description. It is over here. What is information gathering? I have discussed top 5 information gathering techniques in that particular video. The link is in the description as well as in the i button. You can go ahead and watch that particular video. In this video, we'll specifically be looking at a special kind of a browser extension that can, you know, make the task much more easier. So let's begin. Now to install and use Webalyzer, you can go ahead and open up any of your favorite search engine. I'm using Google for this purpose and search for Webalyzer, alright, W-A-P-P-A-L-Y-Z-E-R and just search for it. The first website will be the official website which is webalyzer.com, just open that up. And once the website opens up, you'll get this kind of an interface. The total website is mainly blue in color, blue or violet, whatever. It's indigo basically. All right. So you can see the download option over here. Just click on it. And this will basically redirect you to the download page. All right. Now it is available for Chrome as well as Firefox. Now that does not mean that you will only be able to use this on Mozilla Firefox and Google Chrome. It means that you can use it any on any distribution of Firefox as well as on any distribution of Chromium. All right. So I'm using Firefox for the uh, for this demonstration. You can simply uh, click on this. If you are using Chrome, then click on Webalyzer for Chrome. Then this will uh, redirect you to the um, Firefox add-on store, or you can say the uh, Chrome add-on store if you are using Chrome. Now, as you can see, I have already added this particular extension in my browser, so it is saying remove, but I am not going to remove it. Now, in order to use this particular uh, browser extension, you can go ahead and open up any kind of a website. Like, for example, in this case, I'm using Google. And just beside this particular URL bar, you can see over here, you can see a small Google sign has appeared. And if you hover over your mouse over there, you can see Webalyzer is coming up. Just tap on it and you will see the different kind of services that are being used in that particular website. In this case, since Google is a very popular website and uh, then it uh, for security purposes, they actually mask all these uh, types of services they are running on that particular website. But as you can see, you can gather some basic information like Google web server, etc. But if you are not targeting any service that is of Google or something, or that is not of a very popular website, but if you are targeting a normal website or maybe any kind of a website, then you can go ahead and gather information. All right. Like let's say for example, if we go ahead and open up my website, which is hexer.com, you'll see that different kind of informations will start appearing. Like for example, this is our website. Uh, this remove this ad. All right. So as you can see over here, if you just tap on it, it says that I'm using WordPress 5.1.1 as of now while recording this video, which is absolutely true. Then I have some widgets of Facebook and Twitter uh, I have put in that share options of Facebook, Twitter, share on Facebook and share on Twitter. Then I'm using Google Analytics to actually monitor how many users are visiting on my website. Then you can see it has, uh, you may, I mean, it has detected that it is a blog and it is using WordPress as the CMS. And then many other uh, things such as Twitter emoji and all that stuff. You can see on the right, it is uh, telling you what type of a, uh, web server it is like open rest nginx then <clears throat> you can see the programming language that is being used over here which is php 7 as well as the database which is mysql and i am using google ads you can see if you visit my website you will see google ads that is also given by the google adsense and also i am using yoast seo which helps in seo uh, seo is search engine optimization that is a completely different topic and I'm using this particular plugin in my WordPress website to, you know, improve the SEO, SEO features and all that stuff and jQuery and many other things. 
So whenever you visit a particular website, just simply visit that particular website and just tap on this webalizer icon. You will be able to see the different type of services. Now, once you get the version of a particular service that is running in that particular website, like let's say for example, WordPress 5.1.1 is used in my website. You can simply go ahead and Google what is the latest version of WordPress. If in case you don't know, then you can compare it with the one that is being used in the particular website you are trying to penetrate into. And if let's say the website is using a older version of the particular service, then you can re report that to the website owner and say that, yes, you are using a particular older version and this particular version has a, this kind of a vulnerability. Uh, it is better you update to the latest version or upgrade to the latest version. Otherwise your website will be, uh, you know, prone to hacks. Similarly, you can see many other features. All right. You can go ahead and pretty much browse any other type of website. Let's say if you go to duckduckgo.com, then you can see over here that Webalizer has de detected the JavaScript framework, which is handlebars. In this case, the version number is 1.3.0 and JavaScript libraries as well. And I'm going to show you another thing, which is a great thing about this. Let's go ahead and visit my website once again. This one. So if I go, go ahead and visit this particular link, which is the Firefox send. If you don't know about Firefox send, then you can go ahead and watch my video about Firefox send. Also, you can go ahead and go, go to this particular link to watch this particular or read this particular article as well. So here, if you just go ahead, it should be, yeah, as you can see, I have embedded YouTube videos in here. As you can see over here, there's one video which is actually the official video of the uh, Firefox send utility. And then I have embedded my video, which is the one that I have uploaded in Hacksert YouTube channel. Now, as you can see, you have in order to see whether or not a YouTube channel's video has been embedded or a YouTube video has been embedded or not, you need to scroll down the page. And maybe let's say it's a huge article. And at the end of the article, a YouTube video has been embedded. Then you will have to scroll through a lot of things. All right. But you can simply go ahead and open up this webalizer thing. And as you can see over here, you can see the video player is YouTube. All right. So that will help you guess what kind of video players or what kind of other things are being used in the particular website. As I said in the whenever when I open my home page, in that case, you will see the YouTube icon will not appear. Let it come up. Yeah, as you can see over here. As you can see over here, the YouTube icon is not coming up. So as because in the home page, I haven't embedded any YouTube video. All right. But in that particular page, which I had demonstrated earlier in that page, a YouTube video was embedded. So in this way, you can use this particular tool. And now if you are to gather information, if you are into gathering information about a particular website's services or what kind of things they are using at the back end then you'll probably use a tool or you'll probably use other information gathering tools that are available, let's say on Kali Linux or something. Uh, those tools can generate false positives as well. And those tools may give you wrong information as well. And if you uh, use the passive information gathering tools, like going over to other websites and gathering as to what type of information, uh, what type of services are used by hackset.com then you may not get those information, all right? You may not get my what kind of you know, services I am running in my website through that passive information gathering website. So the best way to save your time, especially, you can use this particular extension. And as I said, most of the things that it actually detected, like the WordPress version and the PHP version and all that stuff are actually correct, all right? It didn't detect anything wrong. It didn't detect anything wrong and all that stuff. It didn't detect and didn't produce any false positive or something. As I said, whatever types of things I am using in my particular website have all been detected. WordPress, PHP version, Google AdSense, Yoast SEO, etc., etc. So in this way, you can use this particular extension to your benefit in order for you to do some active information gathering. So that's it for this video and I hope to see you guys in the next one.
Peace.